Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Eva and I'm a millennial who is absolutely obsessed with makeup. Today we have a part two of my Sephora spring 2024 sale haul. I will have part one linked up here if you want to take a look. Um, the way this video is going to go is I'm going to go through the rest of the items I picked up during the Sephora sale. I went pretty crazy this year. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and what I will do is I will have everything time stamped down below so you can skip to certain sections. I will do my best to swatch some things throughout, but in order to get this video edited and live within 24 hours before the sale ends, um, I'm not gonna be able to swatch everything. However, if you ever want a swatch of something, you can always leave a comment down below and then I'll post it on Instagram. I will also have my Instagram linked up here because I do post additional swatches and additional content on my Instagram. For example, the LYS bronzer, they came out with a new shade. I talked about it in my last video. A lot of people were bummed I didn't swatch it. I went ahead and on Instagram shared my arm swatches in comparison. So just want to plug that. And also want to mention as well, if you want to support my channel, would love if you shop my Sephora links down below every purchase um, through a link does help support this channel. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. I'm gonna go by category, that way we can timestamp everything. Starting off with kind of like random non-makeup category, I have a couple of hair items and perfumes I wanna talk about. It's actually just one hair item. Um, this is the Crown the Dry Shampoo. And I love Crown Affair. I really love their hair mask. I talked about that in my Sephora recommendations video and I've been really curious about their dry shampoo. Something that I like about this dry shampoo or something that I intrigued me enough to pick it up is that it comes in almost like a face powder um, pot and then it comes with a little brush. Now, the reason why I was intrigued by this is because I am in the process of growing my bangs out. And one of the issues I have with um, my normal Living Proof Dry Shampoo is it does a great job of like volumizing the hair. But right now I'm trying not to do that with my bangs because I need them to kind of stay down because they still can't tuck behind my ear. So I wanted to pick this up to see if this would help, like allow me, I'm just demoing what it would look like, to kind of degrease my hair a little bit without creating too much volume. Um, I definitely should use it though because my hair is quite greasy and it is a hair wash day. So I am very excited and if it's something I love I will report back. I think I found my absolute favorite fragrance on planet earth and I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. I smelled this in store and then I was going to buy the little travel size, but then I saw there was a really good deal on the Sephora site where you get the full size and the travel size for a reduced price plus the 20% off. Anyways, I'm babbling. This perfume is from Henry Rose and it is called Windows Down. I am going to try to describe this fragrance to you. So again, this set comes with the full size bottle and then the travel size. The other fragrances that I covered in my part one of the haul, I got travel size, but once I smell this, I was like, this is going to be my scent of the spring and summer. I'm gonna look up the notes right now on the Sephora app because I need to tell you more about this fragrance and I don't know enough about fragrance to actually be able to describe the notes to you. Okay, so this is, okay, I'm shocked because the notes in this are normally notes that I don't go for. So it must be the combination of the notes that's making me fall in love. It is a scent type is listed as fresh citrus and fruits. And then the key notes are grapefruit, jasmine, and musk. I normally don't like fruity scents. But this for me, it does a, it must be the musk. It does a really good job of creating like a balanced, fresh fruity, but also still masculine scent because I tend to enjoy masculine scents. And this description of, or rather this perfume being called Windows Down is exactly what it evokes. 
it makes me think of having your car windows down, driving on a nice, warm spring, summer day, especially here in Seattle. We have a lot of beautiful wildlife. We have the water. This is just unbelievable. I can't stop smelling my wrist. This is unbelievable. I've never been so passionate about a fragrance. <laughs> so I, I know I'm repeating myself a lot, but check out Windows Down. Um, I will have it linked down below. And then they also have a travel size. So if you're on the fence, just get a travel size to start. They also have a little um, kit as well where you can try a bunch of the different fragrances. But this is a fragrance house that I think is definitely one I'm going to be paying more attention to. Let's talk complexion products. I already covered some of the complexion products in my last video. The additional ones that I picked up um, the first one is from Isle of Paradise, and this is their Sunny Serum Instant Face Bronze. A lot of brands have been coming out with bronzing drops lately. I mean, e.l.f. just dropped theirs, which I'm excited to pick up. Um, First Aid Beauty dropped theirs. I've been loving the Glow Recipe one, and I heard really good things about this one. I really like this brand, Isle of Paradise, for um, fake tanning products. And I haven't used it yet, but I am definitely going to be doing a like bronzing drop video where I'm going to review the uh, Drunk Elephant, that's the brand, um, this one, the Elf one when it's more widely available, and then also the Glow Recipe one to let you know like what the differences are and which one I think is best. So I'm very excited to start testing this. The other complexion product I picked up is a restock, and that is my beloved Danessa Myrick's serum skin tint yummy skin i am the shade two i cannot live without if i could only have one complexion product for the rest of my life it would be this i've never found a complexion product that cooperates so well with my dry skin it has my perfect amount of coverage that i like in it shade two is the perfect shade match i just can't say enough good things about this so needed to restock because I'm almost out. And I rarely finish foundations because I'm always testing new ones, but I always go back to that. So very excited to have a backup of this. I picked up a couple more powders as well. I picked up the Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder in the new shade Baby Pink. I don't wanna open this right now because it has little sequins that are gonna go flying, but this is the new Pat McGrath, you know what? whatever we're gonna see if we can open it you know what no never mind sorry i need scissors to open it and i don't have scissors near me um but this is their baby pink under eye setting powder i have the original um shade of this and i really like it it's great for my crepey dry under eyes um and so i'm excited to give the baby pink one a try Something else I picked up is i i believe i covered in my part one that i purchased the huda beauty setting powder in um like cherry blossom fragrance free because they just came out with fragrance free versions and i ended up also picking up sugar cookie which is more of their translucent shade um because i i wanted to be able to apply it to other parts of my face and so yeah excited about that guy brows so for brows i picked up three brow products one of them is a restock um i will actually insert throughout this video some like b-roll of me getting ready earlier please keep in mind a i'm having really bad issues with my skin and b i'm still wearing my pajamas and c my hair is so greasy so just you know no judgment judgment free zone please also if you hear a lot of noise it's beautiful right now in Seattle and I have the window open. I know it's going to create noise, but I just have to savor the fact that I'm able to have my window open. Okay, I'm blabbing. Um, the first brow product. So I restocked the Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Gel. I mentioned this in my recommendations video. It is an incredible brow product. I'm not out of the one I have, but this is one where like I normally never buy backups and I normally never restock and I normally never restock products. So that just tells you how good this is because I know the second it's done, I'm gonna need another. So glad to have this one on hand. The next brow product I picked up is from Colfi. I've heard such good things about their Sculpting Clear Brow Gel. Um, so I like the packaging. I also really like the two different brush types that it comes with. 
I like that it has a little comb and then more of like I would describe almost like a hairbrush because I often find that when I'm applying brow products I will go in with the applicator but then I want like a clean spoolie or something to continue to shape them without getting more product in them so I like that this has two different applicators. The last brow product I picked up is from Urban Decay and I tested this out in stores like a couple months ago and then I've been thinking about it ever since and so I added it to my my cart for the Sephora sale. This is their relatively new I believe Urban Decay Slick Day Brow Styling Set and Setting Gel. This has a really strong hold and I also like the applicator. It is a little comb applicator and I liked that when I applied it in store because it really allowed me to like push the brows up in the way that brows are pushed up when you get them laminated. So I recommend trying this one out if you're not sold on the other two um, because this one I was really impressed when I tested it out. I don't have any more eye products. Um, the only one I want to mention is the Sephora Collection Boost and Lock 12 Hour Wear Eye Primer. Now I've purchased, I believe, a different version of this. I think it's just been repackaged, but this was 30% off because of the Sephora collection being 30% off. And I feel like you can never go wrong with having some extra eye primers. Let's talk highlighters. So I already mentioned the Dior highlighters, the Dior um, Forever Glow Maximizer highlighters in my last video, but I've since picked up a couple more shades. Um, I picked up the, so I already had the peachy one, which I covered in that video. And then I also picked up this one just became available. This is part of their summer collection. So I don't know if this one's going to be limited edition, but this is the nude shade. And I filmed a reel for Instagram showing, um, the differences between the two. Cause I know like online they look very similar, but they're quite different. I'll also insert um, a swatch here on the screen so you can see just how different they are. I would say the nude is more of a traditional highlighter whereas the peachy shade on me is more of a blush and that is actually what I'm wearing today. Um, and then I also picked up the bronze shade. Um, Sophia Sees Beauty here on YouTube inspired me to pick this up because in her video covering me she showed how this is such a beautiful lightweight formula that even on fair skins you can blend it out and wear it as more of a liquid bronzer. So that's what I did today and I will insert some footage of me applying it. Okay, a couple other highlighters I picked up. Oh my gosh. I don't remember if I covered these in my last video, but if I did, I'm just going to talk about them again. The new Fenty Demi Glow highlighters. Oh my gosh, I will insert um, some footage of some swatches I did and I'll also insert footage of me applying this today. These are so buttery soft, so smooth. In the swatches you may get scared because you'll see like sparkle and shimmer. It does not translate, the, translate like that at all on the cheeks. It looks so natural. I've applied this uh, like five hours ago and it is still blinding. I'm wearing the shade Pretty Pearls, but then I also picked up the shade Too Too Much, which is this really pretty rose gold shade. So I would say if you're in the market for a highlighter, these are beautiful. They are really fragile. Um, one of them arrived kind of broken, but I was actually able to just press it back in and I was like, you know what? I know if I return it, they're just going to throw it out and that's wasteful. So I kept it. Ali Glines here on YouTube um, influenced me to pick up some of the new Sephora collection colorful luminizers. Oh, and my sister also picked them up, so that inspired me. And I picked up three shades. I picked up Iced Pearl, Pink Flash, and then Sparkling Honey. And these are what appear to be really pretty baked highlighters. Um, they are 30% off because they're Sephora collection. I haven't used them yet, but I'm trying to open them right now. Just to do some really, really quick hand swatches for you. We have successfully opened these. So this is the shade Iced Pearl. 
really, really pretty. And these look way more, I don't know, like, I think they're gonna look more natural. They're not gonna be like super blinding. Okay, this is the shade. Pink Flash. And for me, I was thinking this would make a really nice blush topper. Kind of reminded me of some of the shades of the bronzers from Bare Minerals. And then the last shade we have here is Sparkling Honey, which is a really pretty champagne gold shade. The last highlighter we have is from House Labs, and this is one of their Bio Radiant Gel Powder Highlighters. I already love this formula, and I've been intrigued about this particular shade for a while. This is the shade Moonstone. Oh my gosh, this shade is so cool. It looks a little scary, like in the swatch, but I promise you the way it melts into the skin, it still makes it super wearable. I'm gonna apply just like a little, I mean, whoo. I know like in those angles, it looks really, really dramatic, but in person, it does melt into the skin in a way that it doesn't leave like a stripe on your face, but when the light catches it, it catches it. Um, so yeah, and if you have not yet tried this formula from House Labs, highly, highly recommend it. It really does melt into the skin. They have really cool colors as well. There's also, I think one shade called like Fire Opal maybe. They have some that would be really pretty blushes if you are more of a fair tone girly. Finally, we are at the last like blush highlight thing that I picked up and that is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Face Essentials Palette. Now, I keep buying these even though I'm not a professional makeup artist, but I love the idea of, well, A, I love a blush palette and I just love the idea of something that's compact for travel when you can just really minimize how much you throw into your makeup bag. And my friend on Instagram, Serum Savvy, I'll have her Instagram link down below. She makes beautiful content. Um, really loved this palette. So I decided to check it out. It is for the most part, I believe matte. It looks like maybe there's some pearl sheens in some of the blushes, but it is half blush and then half complexion. So you can use these as contours, highlighters, foundations, etc. I've seen some mixed reviews about these. Like some people like Serum Savvy really love the product, but I've seen some other people on YouTube who have been kind of on the fence. So I will definitely be testing this out um, to see how I like it. I forgot to mention this guy. Um, this is the Give I don't understand why it's print, why it has an X. And I actually think a lot of those products are way under hype. There are some really great ones. Um, but this is the new Dewy Plump Collagen Cheek Tint. Um, I ended up picking up the shade Purple Irises. I love a purpley blush. So I thought this one would be really pretty for spring. There we go. Now it's, it's a little washed out, but you can see it. Um, Jen Phelps here on YouTube um, wore these and she was kind of like on the fence about them. She didn't last as long as she would have liked. So I decided to just pick up one and see how I like the formula. Before we head into the massive lip haul, um, I wanted to touch on one brush I picked up. This is from CL, which is a brand that I have mentioned many times on this channel. And this is their Sculpt cream and powder dual side brush. Now I already have amazing dual side brushes from Patrick Ta, but those ones are mainly for um, blush. So I wanted to try this because I thought these shapes were really nice and interesting. So this one's really dense and then this one is a little fluffier and I thought this would be good for travel and I'm kind of addicted to, to testing out new brushes. Now it's time if you want to get yourself a sparkling water, an Olipop, a coffee, a tea, etc. Now is the time to do it because we're going to head into a massive, massive lip haul. Let's start with Dior. I picked up two new Dior lipsticks. They like reformulated them into like the new velvet formula and the matte formula. The velvet formula upon like application and testing them out in store reminded me a lot of the Lisa Eldridge velvet lipsticks. 
Um, although the Dior ones are more expensive, but anyways, um, I picked up two shades. Okay, the first one is one that I picked up because of Alana Davidson here on YouTube. She wore this in a recent video and it was absolutely stunning. It is the shade 784. The exact name I don't remember. Oh, Rouge Rose. Okay, so here is the shade. And then I'm going to show you my hand swatch. So it is a really pretty like fuchsia meets red because it's not quite like a hot pink fuchsia. It has enough red in it to where I think it's more wearable. And I tried it on in Sephora. and I was up obsessed obsessed so very excited about this and i'm excited to now have this newer formula oh one thing to mention is it smells like soap again i don't know why these luxury makeup brands insist on having their lip products smell like soap or potpourri but it didn't stay long enough on my lips when i tested it out to like really notice it very long so but i do want to mention because i know some people like cannot stand any fragrance in their lip products I picked up one more of the Velvet shades, and this is one of their newer, like, nude shades. They also came out with a nude collection recently, and this is 221 Frau Frau, Frau 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 Frau. <laughs> Sounds like a dog's name. Um, and this is a beautiful, oh my god, the imprint on these, it's so pretty. This is a beautiful nude shade. I'm working on doing a video of like the best nude lipsticks for someone with fair complexion or rather just like my favorite nude lipsticks and I wanted to add this into the bunch to test out. It's very very pretty. Reminds me of Pillow Talk but it has less like purple undertone. Um, also I should mention that I did pick up the new Pillow Talk Fair lipstick and lip liner but I got those from Ulta because Ulta was doing their 20% off sale right before the Sephora one and then my package got lost like it never arrived even though they said it did but customer service was great and reshipped it to me so I don't have it yet but anyways I will be doing a video covering the new pillow talk there okay that is it for Dior now let's talk about Prada. I've recommended Prada lipsticks in my recommendations video and I just couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself. I picked up a few more. I picked up one more of the bullets and then the other two shades I got, I got in the little um, refillable one, which I don't know, it's like kind of annoying, but they're easy enough to refill that, wait, are they? Oh my gosh, now I'm like concerned. Are these not easy to refill? Okay, I may have made a grave mistake. I thought that these were easy enough to pop out so that you could just swap the colors into the case, similar to how the Charlotte Tilbury ones are. Okay, um, I'm kind of panicky now because am I not gonna be able to use those other shades? Oh my gosh, okay. Let me Google how to remove these and then I'll come back. Okay, few crisis averted. I was able to look up on the Prada site. They had a very helpful little video tutorial. Um, it's actually not hard to pop these out, um, thankfully. So yeah, I just like was like, I don't wanna pay $10 more for another case. So I got some of the refills. I don't know, I might regret it, but whatever. Um, but as far as shades, so I picked up shade. 076. I'll have all the shade names listed below, but this is one of their hyper matte formulas. And I had not yet tried the hyper matte. Um, the other formula I tried was their like soft matte, I believe it's called. So this is a really pretty, I will swatch it, like fun, like caliente red is how I would describe it. If you um, know the a lot of Davidson nude sticks picante shade it kind of reminds me of that blush so very very pretty this is 076 and then as far as the other shades that I picked up let me first put this one back in 
I picked up two more. The first one, and they're also both the Hyper Matte formulation, is BO2 Quartz. And just the way you have to remember to store these, if you do decide to do what I'm doing, is you have to remember to keep the little cap here. Um, that way you can just like keep them in your drawer, but still protect them so they don't dry out. And this is the shade Quartz. Ooh, that's really pretty pinky nude. I will go ahead and do um, a swatch with the Dior ones as well, so you can see how the Dior ones look. Because um, I wonder if this one's going to be similar to that Frau Frau Fru Fru La Di Da, whatever it's called, shade. And then I also picked up the shade R28 in Fu Fuoco. And if I recall correctly, this one's like a fun, yeah, it is. Okay. This one's a really fun red. And I'm going to swap, swap, swipe this one. Sw I can't talk, swatch this one right next to that other red shade so you can see. Oh, wow. That's really pretty. This is more of a traditional, just tr traditional bright red, which, you know, do I need another red lipstick? Absolutely not. Um, now let's go ahead and swatch the Dior ones. We have the Dior one swatched up here and Frau Frau, Fru Fru, whatever it's called, Frau Frau is almost I pretty much identical to Quartz by Prada. I would say Quartz is a little peacher, peachier and then Frau Frau is a little, Fru Fru is a little, um, pinker. And then here we have the Dior Rose Rouge. And this one is quite different. I mean, they're both, you know, in the red family, but this one is different than the Prada one down here. Sorry, it's having trouble autofocusing. There we go. It's definitely pinker and more fuchsia. Um, so these ones are not super similar, but these two nudes are quite similar. I had already mentioned in my last video that I picked up the um, Armani Prism glasses. I ended up picking up two shades, so shade 05 and 02. I wore 05 in the last video, but I did want to put on 02 and show you what that looks like. I'm going to actually apply 02 on the bottom lip, And then we'll do 05 on the top. I'm trying not to touch my lips together right now. Um, so I'd love to be able to showcase the subtle differences. You definitely do not need both. I was just so curious about the differences. So I was like, um, for science, I need both, which is ridiculous. Okay, I did not need both. I'm looking in my mirror down here, these look nearly identical. Let me know in the comments, do you notice a difference? I would say the only subtle difference would be the O2 shade on the bottom is slightly pinkier, but not noticeable. I definitely was a clown for picking up both shades. So don't do that. Don't do that. Learn from me. The last like luxury lip product I picked up is from Givenchy. I mentioned these in my recommendations video. These are so special. These are the Givenchy Rose Perfecto Liquid Balms, and this is their new shade 220. And again, watch that video to get more of a description of like why I love this formula, but this shade is brand new, perfect for spring, summer. I would say it's more of like a popsicle like pink red shade. I loved the Give Beauty Dewy Plump Collagen Lip Gels so much that I picked up a few more shades and eventually like my goal is to have them all like Pokemon. Um, so I did talk about the Purple Irises shade I believe in my last video. This gloss is so for it's so comfortable. It's really thick and long lasting. If you don't like thick glosses you will not like it but it's not Sticky. It just stays for a really long time. It's super comfortable. So I picked up a few more shades. I will go ahead and, you know, because I'm the people's princess and I do what the people want, I'm going to do some quick little arm swatches. 
Um, so we have purple irises. And then I also picked up hibiscus, which is more of a like mm, rosy nude. I also picked up bouquet, which is like a very wearable pink. They also had like a really pretty bright pink that I was really tempted by. And then a coral shade that I was tempted by, but I resisted. Um, and then the other, and then the other shade I picked up is nightshade. Now this looks super dark in the tube, but when I saw them, when I saw this one swatched, I was like, ooh, this is my type of color. It is like a berry jam color. So here we have them all lined up. I will go ahead and come up and do a closer arm swatch. So here we have them swatched. So we have purple irises, hibiscus, bouquet, and then nightshade. I think nightshade and iris are quite similar, but nightshade is definitely deeper. It's almost time for dinner, so I have got to keep the momentum going. Um, I picked up two like lip treatments. The first one is one that I was so intrigued about because it was sold out and then I tried it on in store and oh my gosh, it is so good and I hope they come out with colored ones. This is the Topicals Slick Salve Mint Lip Balm. It is really long lasting for being like a lip treatment. I... I don't know how to describe it other than it's good and it's it's worth your coin. I would recommend picking it up. Okay, the next one I picked up, I had put it in my cart removed, put it in my cart removed like so many times, honestly, over the past year. But then Jen Phelps here on YouTube was talking about how much she loves this product, particularly this new shade. So I went ahead and picked it up and this is the K-Skin Isle Lip Balm SPF 30 in the shade Nude Ting. I don't know why these have such mixed reviews on the Sephora site. I put this on and it lasted probably two hours on me earlier. Two hours for a lip treatment is a really long time in my opinion, but especially like, I don't know, one that has SPF. It also doesn't taste like anything. Oh, I'm like, Oh, just thinking about some of the disgusting SPF lip products I've tried over the years that just are absolutely straight up nasty. And this is not one of them. I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to quickly remove what I had on and I'm going to apply Nude Ting so you can see how pretty it is. Really makes me want to get the other colors because... I'm trying to be a lot better about um, SPF on my lips. I'm very good about putting it on my face and neck every single day, but I neglect my lips. Wow. Oh, it also smells like vanilla. Obsessed, absolutely obsessed. If you're watching this video before this for sale ends, pick this up. Lip liners. Um, lip, ooh. You know what? That's funny. I did just get like a little whiff of that SPF smell. But for the most part, you mainly smell the vanilla. At the end of the day, it is an SPF, so there's going to be some sort of SPF smell. But the good thing is, it doesn't taste like it. Like, not that I'm purposely eating it, but it doesn't taste like it. Okay, lip liners. I picked up three shades of the new Freck Makeout Club lip liners. These are so creamy and dreamy and absolutely beautiful. I applied one of the shades on my lips earlier today and these are so soft and beautiful. Um, this is shade four, which is a little like deeper than I normally go for, but, and then shade three more of like a cool toned nude. I honestly don't really know why I picked up these shades because these shades don't really look good on me. I don't know why I did that, but you know what? We need to just go with it. Um, and then shade two is totally my type of shade. I mean, the other ones, I'm still gonna wear them. Um, they're just not the shades I normally gravitate towards, but I can push myself out of my, my normal boundaries. Um, shade two is this guy here. 
In shade two is a really, really pretty ink. I also picked up from Freck one of their soft, oh wait, actually before I move on to that, I just want to mention that those are really blurring. When I applied it, you'll see in the clip where I'm like wearing my pajamas and have greasy hair, um, <laughs> that it does start to really blur out the look of the lips. So they are blurring and then I'd say they're pretty long lasting. I ate lunch afterwards and I feel like it lasted for like a couple hours, which lip liners I find on me don't last super long because I'm always like eating or drinking something constantly. Um, but yeah, recommend those. Okay, now for the Makeout Club lipstick. So this is shade Muse and this is supposed to be like the lip, my understanding at least is, so the lipsticks came out first and then the lip liners and they are similar formulas. So this is the shade Muse. I wanted these when they first came out, but they didn't have like a shade I was interested in, if I recall correctly. Um, but this is the shade Muse. It's a very pretty like pinky coral. And I have not yet used this, so I cannot yet comment on the lipsticks, but love, love, love those lip liners. Okay, we're almost done. Thank God. Because this is starting to get embarrassing how much I bought. I picked up the three new shades of, I don't know how to say this, the Jisoo Honey Infused Lip Oils. I had wanted the normal clear one for a while just because of the packaging. Like this packaging is so, so cute and creative. Um, but I'd heard that the actual formula kind of sucked. So being the bigger person, I decided not to get it just for the packaging. But then when they launched these three new shades, um, I had heard people saying that they changed the formula and the formula was actually good. So I picked these up. I've not yet worn these. Um, I did do a little swatch comparison of these two shades that I will insert on the screen. And then for you right now, I'll go ahead and swatch the shade. Um, what shade is this? Oh my God, these, I need like a monocle. Um, watermelon sugar. And that is a clear, it's, it looks pink in here, but it's basically clear with some sparkles. So I will be trying those and reporting back. Oh, okay. Now we're on to Sephora collection. I went absolutely ham, psychotic, add to cart crazy for the new Sephora collection lip products. Like I, I need to be studied because I'm unwell. I picked up a bunch of shades of their new, they came out with two different formulas. Okay, so these are them. You may have seen them in like the new arrivals. So these ones are their lacquer shine lipstick formula. And then the ones in the lighter tube are their sheer shine formula. Okay, so I went absolutely crazy. Um, I blind bought these in a ton of shades. I don't know why. Well, they were 30% off and I just, I don't know, the adrenaline was going. Anyways, I don't regret it. I wore one of these earlier today and love, 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 love. Um, the shade I wore, okay, the shade I wore in the video I'm about to show you is I wore shade number one, which is a nude shade in the sheer formula. So I'm gonna swatch some of these on my wrist to talk about like the differences between the two formulas. So the sheer ones are, shocker, more of a sheer formula, but they are buildable. The shine ones, oh baby, the shine ones, oh my gosh, absolutely gorgeous. I would say the sheer ones remind me a lot of the YSL, um, oh my God, why can I think of, they just renamed them, but the traditional YSL lipsticks. And then the lacquer ones, I feel like they're kind of reminding me of the candy glaze. Hold that thought, let me swatch another color and just be like, hmm, 
Is that reminding me of the candy glaze formula? No, I think these, they're not quite as like juicy and glossy as the candy glaze formula, but these are really, really beautiful. I will go ahead and apply one of them to my lips right now. So let's do one of the sheer ones and then one of the lacquer ones. And sorry, I keep looking down. I have like a tray below me with all of the different products. Okay, so let's first try on um, shade number one in the sheer formula. Because in the video, I applied it over that Freck lip liner. Okay, so shade number one in the sheer formula. Pretty, pigmented, sheer. Now let's go in with one of the lacquer formulas. I'm going to try to do a somewhat similar-ish shade. I'm going to go in with the shade 01 Magnetic Wave and okay. Wow. Okay, the okay. Hold up. These remind me so much of the YSL oil slick lipsticks. You guys, I feel like I just unlocked something. I just unlocked something. So I grabbed just a couple of my YSL lipsticks um, and swatched them and then swatched one of the sheer ones next to it just to get a feel for the formula and consistency. And I actually think the sheer ones are I mean I'm not gonna say a total dupe because I think it's too early I think we throw that word around too much I need to thoroughly test them but first impression is these are very similar very very similar to the YSL um the to oil and you know what I'm talking about um now though I do want to swatch one of my candy glaze ones and then swatch one of the lacquered Sephora collection ones. So we just did candy glaze and then I'm going to grab the shade. What is this one? Oh, six. Hmm. Okay. No, they're different. So I'm going to show you on, on my arm here. Let me zoom you in. Okay. So here we have the um, the Sephora collection lacquered one. And then this is the candy glaze formula. And then we move into, um, the YSL and then the sheer Sephora one. Okay. I would say the lacquer lipstick formula is not similar to the YSL ones at all. It's just a really pigmented lipstick. I will say that I can say confidently with my whole chest that the sheer formula is really similar to the YSL traditional um oil you know you know what I'm talking about the traditional voluptu oil lipsticks very very similar so like PSA Try these, try these 30% off. I also would recommend picking up the lacquer formula. Really, really beautiful, crazily pigmented. Um, but I just don't know what to compare it to right now. I did get a bunch of shades of these. Um, I think, to be honest, that the Sephora shades online were, were pretty helpful, like very, very accurate. So I would check those out. Um, but if you are interested, I kind of want to do a whole video swatching all of these and then, well, not all of these, all the ones I picked up of these and then the ones that I picked up of the lacquer formula and comparing those to other formulas. If that's something you'd be interested in, let me know because I'm feeling really jazzed about these purchases. Like I might even see like if there are some other shades I'm interested in before the sale ends because they are 30% off. That's like the little, you know, devil on my shoulder, like the little devil emoji just comes to mind of telling me to buy more of these, but I should, I should probably resist. 
Um, if you've made it this far, thank you so much. I really appreciate you coming along for this pretty chaotic, all over the place, rambling video. Um, I'm going to absolutely do my best to get this up before end of day on the 15th. I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m. on Monday to start editing so I can get like an hour of editing in before I log in for the work day and then get this up tomorrow night. Um, if this video was helpful, if this inspired you to pick anything up, I would love if you consider shopping through my affiliate links down below. I do earn a small commission. Um, and then if you are not already subscribed, subscribe and then follow me on Instagram because I do have more in-depth swatches and other fun makeup related content that I post over there. Thanks so much and I will catch you in my next video.